Hola! Hello, I'm Joan Smalls and today I'm gonna be doing my makeup. It's finally my turn. Little do people know I do my makeup a lot. I've been doing it since I was like 13. Let's give it a go. The first thing I start with is my eyebrows because I feel that's like the starting point. I have a little scar here as you can see and I always fill that bad boy up. I tend to mix two colors. I like filling in my eyebrows, not the color they are but a little bit lighter. So it just looks full, but not like super done. Lately, I've been doing this trick where I'll fill them in at the top and at the bottom, and then I won't do the middle, just so you can kind of still see their hair. And then I do skin. I use a sponge and I wet the sponge. Ooh, that little bad boy. Models get pimples, okay? Just go around. I love a cat eye. I fill it in with pencil, and I always do a half cat eye, which they call it a kitten eye. So it's gonna be from here onwards. People think I don't speak Spanish. That's quite annoying. I am from Puerto Rico, de Puerto Rico. Mi mamá es puertorriqueña. Mi papá es de San Tomas. Así que aprendí a hablar inglés en mi casa al mismo tiempo. Así que déjenme quieta. Yo sé hablar español, aquí lo tienen. Es que nunca me escuchan hablando español porque solamente lo hablo con mi familia. Y ahora me están escuchando y van a tener subtítulos debajo. A liquid eyeliner. Seal it with this bad boy. So now I am going to conceal. So I'm putting it on my hand. I always like using something that's like a little bit more yellow um, for my skin because that's like my undertone and it brightens a little bit. So uh, I'm going to dab, 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 dab. I use my finger because it's like easier to feel where your makeup is going. And then because this is lighter, I use it for contouring my nose. You see, this muscle is not because I work out, it's just because I blend a lot, okay? <laughs> So now let's go to the contour. So I take the brush and I use a foundation that is darker than my complexion to contour so it looks like more natural. When you do the contour of the nose, I tend to bring it a little bit up just to give it a natural sculpt. You don't want it contoured, you want it sculpted. I like using a brush because it gives you more precision. So I mix a little bit of foundation and concealer in my hand just to fix any oopsies I did on my face and blend in any like contour. I'll just swipe. Notice I'm not using the sponge now because the sponge doesn't have like a sharp edge and I need something to kind of like get in there and brush it up. Now I'm gonna powder all of my face and basically you just brush it all over your face. Brush it all over your face. Carry it down to the neck. I'm going to do contour with powder. I do contour with powder because it's lighter. I have really high cheekbones, so I don't need that much contour. So I'm gonna keep it right up until here. So halfway point. Joan, she was born with it, smalls, okay. So I'm gonna use a cream highlighter. Place it right in the bridge of my nose. Then a little cupid's bow, a little brow bow. It's just like a healthy little, little Sun kiss. I am going to use an Estee Lauder Topaz Chameleon. Do the top. And this one has like a little bit of coloring. Usually I put a lip balm. Nobody likes chapped lips. Nobody likes crackled, like, no. Thank you very much. So please do us all a favor and put some chapstick, or lip balm, or whatever. This is my all time favorite. Curling your lashes. My lashes don't have that much of a curl. But this little guy is my miracle worker. And so here goes nothing. Now, mascara. I love, love, love mascara. I put on the bottom just to comb those little bad boys out. Highlighter. I'm gonna do in the little inside of the corner of my eyes because it gives you like a little pop, little, it's a pop, it's a pop. Gonna finish off a little bit more under the eye with the powder. Everything is gonna stay in place with my little powder. This is a fluffy brush, um, and because I wanna get so close to my eye, I kinda like pinch it and flatten it. So again, I don't mess up my 
eyeliner. It's allergy season um, and I want to lighten my eyes and what works for me is putting black eyeliner inside of the waterline. So aquí vamos. If you're going to have a drink, do it after the eyeliner and mascara. Oh, another secret. This is a weird one. Because you blink a lot, when you put liner inside of your waterline, it tends to like, it doesn't last as long. The trick is you put it on top of your waterline of your top eye. Because I put liner at the bottom, some of it might have ran. So I'm going to fix it by kind of like blending and blurring it with the colors I use to contour my cheeks and my nose. So I'm going to do nude. Here we go. You see where I hit the little cupid bow? Now you can see it better and cuter. All right. Ooh, cute. I mean, I would kind of hit my eyes a little bit because this allergy is killing me. Just a little dab to brighten up the area. I'm gonna use my sponge. And I'm gonna hit it right there. I'm gonna top it off with some powder. And voila! There's my little baby cat eye. Adios! Nos vemos! Hasta la próxima!